please. So, uh, this question from uh, Brother Babir Turkey from Tolward, London. Yes. Afsalhan Turkey's son. Uh, Incidentally, he, did you read the news item today which mentioned that there was one mayor of Turkey who loved Islam and who defied the non Islamic ordinance of the government? And scores of thousands of people are joining procession behind him. Did you read that? It's a very welcome news. You must read it. Please now. Um, <coughs> he asked that true dreams have no relevance to the righteousness of character but can strengthen your faith. What? But, what cannot have? Uh, true dreams. True dreams. Yes. Have no relevance to the righteousness of character but can strengthen your faith. What then can be said of someone who dreams regularly the spirit category of dream? Is this type of person more receptive or perhaps more in need of guidance? What is Husserl's opinion? First of all, the premise of the question is not right. Two dreams are not essentially indicative of one's piety. That should have been the question. Because in the case of wise people, they see two dreams and uh, there are many signs of truth which come along with the dreams or get fulfilled after the dream. So this is a long issue which I have discussed previously in so many of my, of my question answer sessions. Here I must point out that the significance of dreams is not always understood by their so-called fulfillment. The two significance of dreams which indicate that someone is a pious person is the support of God for such a person. And the nature of dreams which indicate that this is a special person who is seeing the dream, if you do anything against him, you will be frustrated. This is the true sign. Otherwise, the phenomenon of dream, which may appear to be correctly fulfilled, is also a psychic phenomenon, which has nothing to do with religion. Many psychic people see dreams which come true, but they have no relationship with their own personal piety because nothing is mentioned about their piety or no support is given to them no prophecy is made that this person is Allah uh, belongs to Allah and whatever he says will be fulfilled because he belongs to Allah this is the case of Wanda of uh, Austria which I have mentioned before no, Hungary. Wanda of Hungary, is it? Wanga, Wanga, Wanga. Hungary, I think. Hungary, yeah. yes. Wanga of Hungary, which I have discussed at length before. She is a blind lady who has been predicting by seeing things in dream about events of the future, which the good authorities support that they did happen like that. I have studied all his so-called dreams which are prophetic. And if you also do that, you'll be amazed to find that none of the dreams has any relevance to the piety of the person who is seeing them. They're just accidents spread all over the world, all over the country. And they get fulfilled not to prove that she is from God because she does not even claim. She does not claim that my prophecies, because they are directly revealed to me from Allah, they will come true. She doesn't say that. 
So how can you mix such prophecies with the prophecies of a prophet of Allah who claims clearly and positively that what has been revealed to me is from Allah and it is in favor of my message. It's not just haphazard prediction about the futures, about the future, it is in favor of my message and it will be fulfilled. You see it, try to frustrate my uh, my message and my attempt to revolutionize the world, you will not be able to do it. The difference is so clear, there is no room for any confusion about it. Is this the question? Yes, uh, he wants to know, uh, maybe that kind of people needs uh, much more guidance. Uh, this is the guidance I am giving. Yes. <laughs> right. Thank you. So the same question uh, about the dream is. Yes, please. Uh, could you say more about your, uh, the psychic psyche dreams? Yes. I have said about that. <coughs> Human psyche is capable of uh, throwing up the suppressed uh, experiences of humans in the form of dreams. Now these dreams are constantly being seen by people, but they are adghatul ahlam. Al adghatul ahlam, they most often do not mean anything. Just a message, a broken message, of nightmares and things, which uh, do not indicate the will of God at all. But if the person who is seeing this experience is pure in himself, <coughs> he is a good person and he is truthful. Although he is not religious, his dreams will become true because he is a truthful person. So these are the dreams of Wonga which I mentioned earlier. <coughs> 